All right, back in the shop. Got the uh, Barky Pro 1000 build with us here. We've been spending quite a bit of time on it and we've been in and out with this engine a fair amount. So we kind of showed you last time where we were at on some of the bracing and supports, but we had some other issues that we went wrong that we need to discuss. So carburetors, you know, our, our customer supplied engine, I'll call this, that was given to us, got a set of carbs with it. The only thing we didn't get is pipes, which will fit here. But we put the engine, we got it set up, we got our tower support in there. Inside here, we've got some billet mounts, you'll see. The billet mounts were about, I don't know, another half inch longer. And in this mount, we had these problems of getting this carburetor down in here. And it was literally hanging underneath us. You know, these are these little things that you're working on and going, all right, now we've got issues because now the carbs don't fit with our jack chef design. So even though we're trying to do everything we can to make sure we avoid these future problems, we ran into good ones. So we came up with a couple solutions here, which wasn't the easiest. So take all the flanges off, shorten the flanges, take the carbs back out. We ended up modifying both sides of this carb actually, this side here got slight modification. And this bell mount, when it was inside here, which is kind of interesting, so we didn't realize that this bell mount was hitting both sides of these bulkheads down here. So this side and this side. So we, we clearanced as much as we could. We've got as much room, but by the time it was all said and done, we needed to machine the outside of these bell mounts and shorten everything. So now that we've got that all done, one of the bonuses too is where the throttle cable came through. It was pushed forward and the throttle cable comes up around because it was right in the dead center of that jack shaft too. So we've got some mock-up pieces we built here before we go to full production. That sets our distance. Sets our distance to where we want the car bat to. So it all goes in, it's all nice and clean now. We've got room for it so we can get all three of these carbs mocked in. These little things are the bumps when you go to, to build these sleds that people don't realize that you go, it's in and out how many times. And I tell you, when we tried to modify this here on our lathe, it is not easy to grab onto this and machine this and set it up, but you know, we can get just about any project finalized one way or another, and we did get this thing done. So what's neat this time is we're gonna run over some of the A-arms, the front end, get this all mocked up for you, show you what you got. So what's really neat, we're going single A-arm. So yeah, some people have seen it out in the industry, but it's really nice. It's gonna take a ton of weight off, uh, get us nice and low to the ground, get good support. So we've got a really cool looking single A-arm here. We did an overlap on this side right here, bushings in both sides. And then Proline Performance helped us with some spindles. So we've got a custom spindle here. Might give you a little teaser on which color we're going with here with this sled too. So what's really neat is they're one piece, one off uh, built spindles for this G5. So this entire package goes on the front end, pretty much predetermined where we want for height and setup. Uh, so it's a pretty neat little deal. Let's definitely uh, get in here, show you what you got and get it set up. Got the front end installed. Let's just kind of recap a few things. We've built some shocks here, had them built, some custom ones, uh, set up with the right dimensions that we want. We've got radius rods custom built here, fully adjustable. We got the built spindles. Uh, we went with the power mat skis, pretty much the norm in that industry. Some lightweight ski saddles set up. So this project's pretty much set to go on this front end. Uh, we're gonna put some plastic on here. Get set up. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. There we go. So what's neat about this is we're kind of looking and we get some plastic set up, roughly mounted on. And our next project, we're gonna fit some pipes. So that's the project um, that's on our plate for the next week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it really takes. We got some stampings that we chose for this particular engine knowing uh, who built it and what it is. There's a little bit of room when it comes to fitting them through here. We've got the mag side is tight, PTO is pretty good, but most of that stuff really comes from that original first engine fitment we had. Where we're sliding this engine, we don't want the clutch out of the belly pan. We gotta fit a recoil in there and these pipes have gotta come up and over. So we are at this point where it's kind of a fun project. Our welders will get in here and get some pipes fit. So 
We'll get these going and we'll talk some plastics and how we fit them in the next couple, two, three weeks.